Hey, before we get back into it, let's include a free Spanish lesson to begin with. Welcome back to part knee. Oh, sorry, that's Japanese. Uh, you trick me. Oh, sorry, are you upset? Nah. Good, let's move on to the solution with no further interrupt. I I figured what we were talking about. That's fine. Recap. Number one, you can't force someone to like you, so if they broke up with you because they're not interested... Kill a chicken and use it in a voodoo curse to curse them. I just give up and find someone else. Number two, sometimes it's not your fault. See? And number three, Richard Nixon was the greatest political leader of all time. I'm also the sexiest baby. Now, here's the one thing that you need to remember through all human relationships. You need to be able to determine whether you're being present or not present when you're speaking to that person. And that's all you need to know. Probably a bit presumptuous to say that it's the root of all problems to do with human being relationships, but it's probably 98% of them, guaranteed. Yeah, that's a good stat to trust. You know what the source is? for that one. <laughs> This is what's happening in the mind of a guy who's not present when he's with his fly girl. I won't say to taco, so if you're ever hungry, you should... Oh, when is she gonna shut up? She never talks about wrestling. I wish my girlfriend was the rock. Me too. And this is what's happening in the mind of a guy who is present. The sandbox is my friend. I went potty in there yesterday and it wasn't embarrassing at all. Oh, I just went body thin. Change me! Okay. Notice how there's no internal dialogue. He enjoys the moment for what it is, and this is the mindset that women respond to. They want a man who is in the moment with them. Nothing is more irksome to human beings than a person who's not present. Think about it from your own experience. Think about the last time somebody asked you. Hey, how's it? <laughs> Well, I got a haircut recently, and it's not cheap because you can't go to- The Demolition Derby down under is gonna have more car crashes than ever before, which means that there's more chance of death. Yeah! Next time you're with your ex, don't go in there with a plan to gender off. Okay, I'm gonna say how pretty she looks, and then I'm gonna cry, and that should be enough. Don't think ahead at all. Sit there and be with her. Sounds very Hindu guru, but... When words are no longer cluttering the mind, you can feel the moment for what it is. Give me your wallet, bro, or else I'm gonna go Okay, take it, just don't hurt me, man! When you do this, your brain won't be filtering the moment through how it thinks it should be. Instead, it'll be paying full attention to your partner, and this will increase your chances more than anything else, I can guarantee. Here's the science behind that. Body. Hey! Language. Thanks, ma'am. If you do this, she won't be tense in the situation because she'll intuitively sense that you don't have a guard up. So after the initial... Ugh, I hate you for whatever you did. It'll vary from situation to situation, so let's not get specific. If you sit there not reacting at all, the communication will eventually become very truthful because you're both being present. And if that doesn't work, then I'm sure that there's another three-minute YouTube video clip out there that'll help you and solve all your problems. In 200 seconds or less... Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.